It feels thick. It's like someone made a cupcake. I just love cookies. It smells like toothpaste. It's still like chewy. 10 out of 10. Hey guys, what's up? It's LD. Welcome back to another episode of LD Eat. So today we are celebrating National Dessert Day. So when you think of desserts, I don't know what you think of, but generally I think of cookies, cake, ice cream, pie, cinnamon rolls. I, I started trying to look up what the most popular desserts in America were, and I really couldn't get a clear answer to be honest with you. Like all of these obscure websites had listed these things that I don't really feel were accurate, but maybe I'm just oblivious to what people think. One of them had fudge as the top dessert in America. Who made that list? Um, so my top three favorite desserts, cookies, ice cream, probably cupcakes, honestly. I'm pretty basic. All right, so we are going to go get some desserts to celebrate National Dessert Day. guys so you just saw me go through the drive-thru at Katie Bugs Sips and Sweets um, it's in downtown Oklahoma City and it actually is in the house where Sarah Sarah used to be throwback major throwback um, if you know about Sarah Sarah cupcakes uh, but it's in that house so they've redone it I've been wanting to go to Katie Bugs and try their desserts for a long time so I figured this was a great opportunity but I just want to give a huge shout out to Katie Bugs um, they have a drive-thru window they have quarantine boxes so they made these assorted boxes specifically for quarantine. Everybody wears a mask, they're super safe. So I just wanna give a huge shout out to them for doing things the best I have seen in this pandemic. So I got a few different things. Um, I did get one of the quarantine boxes. I got a medium sized one, which has like six things in it, I think. I got the donuts and then I did get, they had cake slices today. So I told the employee just to give me her favorite one. She gave me the best chocolate cake. So let's go ahead and get started trying these treats. All right, first up, we're gonna try these. I believe they're apple cider donut muffins and they come with this caramel dipping sauce. Oh my gosh. Here's what the little muffins look like. They look like the little like breakfast muffins that you can get from the store. I'm just gonna break off. I'm gonna try it without the caramel first. To be honest with you, I'm not getting a huge apple cider flavor, but it tastes like fall. It's got that cinnamon, the nutmeg, the crunchy cinnamon sugar on the outside. Now we're gonna try this caramel, which looks like this might be a mess. Maybe this is what makes it apple cider. I don't know. This caramel dipping sauce. This is next level. Wow. I need a fork just spoon just for this. This, 10 out of 10. Again, not getting a lot of apple cider flavor. It's fine. They're still amazing. I'm going to give them an 8 out of 10. Next up, we're going to try this beautiful cake. And she said this is chocolate cake. It has like some type of caramel in it, uh, but it's got whipped cream and toffee. You guys know how I feel about toffee. Okay, so I cut off a piece of it just because I don't want to eat all of it. I want to share it with my family. So look at this cake. Hmm. This chocolate cake is very, hmm. it's a little chewy. It's not bad. The bites that had the caramel filling that was soaked into there was really, really good. You definitely get that caramel cream flavor. I do prefer a cake to have a buttercream icing, so this wasn't my favorite just because it did have that whipped topping on the top. I did like the toffee. That was a nice touch. I wish there was more though so I could have more of a crunch. This cake was pretty good. Not the best I've ever had. Not the worst I've ever had. Um, I would try their other cakes before I would get that one again, but still pretty good. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. This is the quarantine box that they have. I got a medium one, so it has six items in it. It has a marshmallow chocolate brownie, two cookies. One of them looks like Oreo. The other one looks like confetti or sugar or something. Have uh, two iced sugar cookies that look like pumpkins. And then there's a, looks like M&M Rice Krispie treat. So let's go ahead and give all these items a try. I love this concept of just being able to get a box and having assorted items in it. This is amazing. Awesome concept, great job K-Bugs. Let's try it. So first up here, I have this, it looks like an Oreo sugar cookie. Got huge chunks of Oreo in it. And these cookies are pretty good size. They're about the size of your palm. It smells really good. I like that. As you guys know, I love cookies. That cookie was amazing. 
the dough was flavorful. Like there's just the right amount of salt, which helps enhance the Oreo flavor. I liked the huge chunks of Oreo. I liked the texture. It was soft, it was chewy. The only thing I would like is if it was a little bit denser because I do like a little bit of a thicker cookie, but for a thin cookie, that was pretty good. I'm gonna give that a nine out of 10. All right, next up we've got this, it looks like confetti cookie maybe. It looks like it has white chocolate in it and sprinkles. Um, it also feels very soft, it smells so good. Let's try it. Yeah, this one has more of a butter flavor. That white chocolate really helps bring out the butter flavor too. I've been missing out on Katie Bug's cookies because that one was excellent as well. Has a very nice like birthday, almost birthday cake-ish flavor because it's got the white chocolate chips and the sprinkles. Nice and buttery, perfect amount of salt. Dough was good, texture was good. Nine out of 10. All right, we're gonna break up the cookie with this brownie and it is a chop, brownies are chocolate. It's a brownie with just like icing caked on the top with with marshmallows. I don't really have a plan on how I'm gonna eat this. So I've got a bite of this brownie. It's got a ton of icing on it. This icing, unreal. The brownie itself, I don't feel like it's very rich. It's not a super fudgy brownie, but I think that's okay. There's this amazing milk chocolate frosting on the top. It honestly reminds me of my Nana's frosting that she makes for her cakes, which is one of my favorite things. And to my family watching this, you know that she makes the best icing. That's what this icing reminds me of. Hers is better. This is still really good. This brownie is just a tad bit dry and I feel like it's because it was baked inside these muffin tins instead of like in a regular pan. That may or may not be the case, but it's still a really solid brownie. I don't know. I would probably prefer it without the marshmallows to be honest with you. I'm not a super huge marshmallow fan unless it's in a s'mores product. Like they can very easily make this into a s'mores brownie and it would be killer. I'll give this brownie a seven out of 10. Okay, and last but not least, we have this very cute pumpkin. I think it's an iced almond sugar cookie. This has glitter on it. Here we go. This is like straight sugar. The cookie itself, very soft, has a good almond flavor. The icing, I like how when ice sugar cookies have that little bit of crunch on the top, I love that. That cookie was really good and a lot of times when people make almond sugar cookies, they turn out to be really tough or really hard or not flavorful, but I feel like they did a really awesome job with texture, flavor, all of it, honestly. I'm gonna give that cookie an eight out of 10. This Rice Krispie Treat has candy corn in it and the Kit Kat and M&M's. But Katie, Bu Katie Bugs makes their own marshmallows. So I expect this to be really good. Honestly, I feel like it's kind of hard to mess up a homemade Rice Krispie Treat. This one, I feel like isn't too special. The only thing I would say that's different is it has like these huge chunks of marshmallow in it, which I feel like if you love marshmallow, you will really like this Rice Krispie Treat. I do like the candy in it. I think that's a good touch. Not a bad treat. Kids would love this. Um, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. All right guys, so I thoroughly enjoyed Katie Bugs. It was awesome. I loved all of their stuff. The cookies, um, I really loved that confetti cookie or the sprinkle cookie, birthday cake cookie, whatever you wanna call it. Love that one, the Oreo sugar cookie, even the ice pumpkin cookie, love that. I really do recommend the um, apple cider muffin donuts with the caramel sauce. You'll thank me later. But their cake was also good. The brownie was also good. Rice Krispie Treat. I liked all of it. Honestly, that is a solid place to go for National Dessert Day. Solid place to go for desserts on any day. Uh, we're going to make one more stop, so I'll see you when we get there. So I'm at Andy's. I got the pumpkin pie concrete and the apple pie sundae. This is rapidly melting and I'm going to eat it. So this is the pumpkin pie concrete. I'm not the biggest fan of pumpkin pie to be honest with you. I'm pretty sure this is just their regular vanilla custard with a slice of pumpkin pie mixed in. And there are big chunks. Look at that. Hmm. This isn't bad. It's probably not my favorite considering that I'm not a huge fan of pumpkin. When you get the chunks of pumpkin, the flavor's pretty strong, but, oh, maybe I need to go 
I don't feel like this is blended super well. Okay, here we go. Look at all this pumpkin flavor here. It's like getting more pumpkin-y as you go on. Okay, okay. There's the pumpkin flavor. So pro tip, if you get this, just make sure you mix it around because it looks like the pumpkin kind of either gets stuck in the middle or goes to the bottom. So just give it a nice little stir. I mean, there are definitely chunks of crust in here, which I personally love. Hmm. Like there is a huge pumpkin chunk right here. Oh, straight up, this just tastes like pumpkin pie and ice cream. So if you're into that type of thing, this is for you. Me personally, I'm not a huge fan of pumpkin, but still pretty good. It's pie and ice cream. You can't go wrong. That's a great dessert. Um, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. All right, next up we have this melted mess. This is the apple pie sundae. And I just want you to take a minute to look at this caramel, gooey, ice creamy, melted mess. Wow. This is fantastic. Also, this is a small and it's ginormous. First things first. Obviously the custard is good. Andy's always has great custard. Number two, there is a warm apple pie at the bottom of this. It is cinnamony. It is baked to perfection. It has cinnamon. It has soft apples. It has this buttery, crunchy crust. Then You've got this third component that just game changer. You've got this caramel and just completes this whole cinnamon butter perfection. I don't know if you could get more of an American dessert than this. I do need to stop eating this though because whew, this is a lot. You could share this with like four people, I swear. This is fantastic. I prefer this over the pumpkin just because that's how I am, I'm sorry. This is super sweet. Wow, this is amazing. If you are an apple pie lover, even if you're an apple pie hater, you'd probably like this. And the caramel, man. You know I have a weakness for caramel. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. All right, guys, so that is going to conclude our national dessert day. We got some of America's favorites. We got ice cream, pie, cake, cookies, brownies. We tried all of it. Um, so make sure you check out Katie Bug's Sips and Sweets and Andy's frozen custard. I really enjoyed filming today. You know, sweets are, are my favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as well. If you have any recommendations of places that you want me to go or products you want me to try, make sure you leave them in the comments down below or send me a DM on Instagram. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. I hope you guys get better today than you were yesterday and you do something nice for somebody. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.